Hey, our review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, reviewing music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Vectus EP entitled No Mercy for the Week. Complete left field discovery from a band that I hadn't previously heard of. No recommendations, I literally just stumbled upon this. These guys are a thrash and black metal hybrid band who dropped a demo back in 2019 and now this is their first bigger release. Now the first thing I thought of when I heard the term black thrash was there usually is one style that takes the forefront over another. In this case, it is usually the thrash metal. And to be honest, I was correct in that assumption because thrash metal does really dominate a lot of these tracks with very high powered throttling riffs to the point where besides the occasional riff or the occasional drumline that's a bit reminiscent of old school black metal, the only thing that is black metal is the vocals, which are shrieked like a dungeon rat. But even the vocals remind me a little bit of early death metal, like say death or or possessed, which I mean pretty much makes sense since a lot of 80s death metal and black metal had stylistic origins coming from thrash metal. I know I read that they're influenced by Sodom and Creator, but I think it transcends that because I do feel a lot of Motorhead influence and some of these riffs just bleed speed metal. Considering there's a huge renaissance going on right now with new school thrash metal bands playing the old school style that's happening in death metal too, it's a pretty seamless listen and pretty surreal. But listen, something that really caught me off guard with this release and something that I didn't find out until after a couple of listens to it. These guys were teenagers when they dropped their first demo last year. They're really traveling back to a time where riffs might be a little bit simplistic but were always chunky and hard hitting and the production didn't do it any favors. It wanted to be raw and the solos were just fast. It wasn't about being super technical, it wasn't about having the best sound when it comes to resonance, it was just about being full on rage, full on power. And in that way, I want more. I want more from this band. To see a young band do this style so much justice is great. Now with that being said, this band still is drowning in their influences a bit. They're wearing their influences on their sleeve. And there are some moments where it might come off a little bit uninspired or that the songwriting isn't fully fledged to pack a track to keep it fully interesting and unique from start to finish. Like on the very first track, Invocation Spells, the galloping riff is really juicy, but it gets worn out pretty quickly, and considering this track doesn't even breach the two minute mark, that is a little unfortunate. I think they also fall into the trap that a lot of thrash metal bands do where they feel like they have to necessarily have a solo. And of course, solos are a staple in thrash metal. I just think this results in some of these solos just being there to be there. And while these do sound like nitpicks, it can get a little bit distracting the things that I'm talking about here. But I do want to give credit where it's due to this EP. It's a throttling EP. It's very compact and it makes your blood boil. On first listen, it was a crisp listen. And the first listen is usually when I start to formulate a lot of my initial opinions before I really delve deep into a record with subsequent listens. And the first listen was good. It's a strong black thrash record with more thrash metal influence than black metal influence from a band that is super young in their career, but already kicking ass somewhat better than some established bands. And it really makes me happy when I find these bands in the underground that are not necessarily doing something super interesting, but just bearing the torch, and that's alright. In the future, I just want to see this band maybe go a different direction and making their own style unique and bearing their own identity. But this early into their career, I still think they're doing a bang up job for this being their first big EP. And it's a band, hopefully, that I'm going to be able to keep my eyes on and ears on to just see if they do something in the future that I find to be better than this, I would love to see them progress. And even if I don't really love this record and it's not gonna get the most, most, most positive score, be reminded anything above a five is good. And I do recommend this record to anyone that is interested if this has piqued your interest at all. It's pretty much good turn off your brain music and just mosh too. I'm going to be giving this album a 6.5 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Vectus record, No Mercy for the Week? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss the record with you. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morse, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. <laughs>